Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! A lot, a lot of you have been asking whether um, I'm already in Philippines. Yes, I am. I'm safe and sound. Currently, I am doing my 7-day quarantine in a hotel. And I'm in Cebu as of the moment. I was able to enter the country smoothly. And um, I arrived last December. I know. I arrived last um, March 18. So, um, a lot of you have been asking me what are the things that I prepared and how much should it cost to go home. Well, in this video, I will be sharing to you the experience and the documents together with the fees that I paid upon arrival. So, let's start! So if you're a Filipino, overseas Filipino worker, or returning overseas Filipino, well guys, there's no need to worry because you can enter the Philippines. I have also uh, included the link in the description box below um, for you to check whether you are eligible to come to Philippines or not. I will be sharing to you my own experience from Europe to Cebu or Mactan Cebu International Airport via Doha with Qatar Airways. So I have listed here the things that I prepared and the, the amount that I paid since I am not an overseas Filipino worker. If you are an OFW, well, um, must less hassle because the government will be helping you with the expenses and also with the quarantine so first and foremost plane ticket yes guys for the plane ticket during the pandemic airlines tend to cancel their flight sometimes worst case scenario they forget to inform you or if ever naman they inform you late so the number thing number one thing that you need to, to check is your airline or your flight schedule whether it's still confirmed or not now, once it's confirmed, you need to look for a quarantine facility which is um, accredited. I will be uh, putting the link in the description box below for um, Cebu and as well as Manila. Now, um, you have options there to choose from. It's either you can go for a hotel with breakfast or full board. For full board, it's going to be breakfast, lunch, and dinner, including the drinks, which is water. And then if you opt to go for breakfast only, I would suggest uh, contact the hotel that you choose and then check with them whether they allow you to uh, purchase food from outside. Because um, if, of course, if you buy the food in the hotel, it's going to be costly. And in the hotel that I'm staying for, they actually allow uh, orders from outside but then i just need to make sure that that certain item is already paid kasi sila yung from the delivery man to receptionist sila yung magdadala ng food sa room mo so um like what i said check with the hotel if it's possible and then you can go for the breakfast only option and on the hotel then you can go on with the um registration for um, arrival registration with MCIA uh, Mactan Cebu International Airport uh, sa registration po they will be asking your full details your email your address your passport your name and then um, they will be asking the um, hotel name and make sure the hotel is on the list um, you will have a barcode, an individual unique barcode. You need to keep that one, at least uh, prepare two copies. Because one will be used uh, for the swab test and one will be used in the validation counter. And of course, if you have a printout, at least they will not be looking at the barcode in your email through your phone, diba? 
it was um, vines. So once you're done with the um, registration, so you have the barcode, the hotel booking, and the airline ticket. So it should be good now. Um, with me, I was flying with Qatar Airways. So upon check-in, the first thing that the staff asked from me is the um, hotel booking and together with the barcode. And after that, I did a check-in smoothly and then went to the boarding. And in flight, the cabin crew gave us another, another three forms, which is the Bureau of Quarantine form, the Health Declaration form, and also the arrival form or arrival card you need to fill that up and take note again bring your own pen again we don't want to spread virus so please bring your pen and um a strategy ko kasi, if someone would like to borrow my pen i always bring two so that if my gusto mahiram i can give the other one and i just keep one for me Upon arrival, they will be asking for those documents. So, um, after your flight, the first thing you do uh, in Mactan Cebu International Airport will be the uh, arrival briefing from Bureau of Quarantine. In the briefing, the, the Bureau of Quarantine staff will be um, explaining to you that everyone needs to undergo um, quarantine for at least seven days and on the fifth day you or we will be or we will undergo swab test so after you're done with the briefing it won't take long maybe around 10 to 5 minutes uh, sorry 5 to 10 minutes and then afterwards then we can proceed now to the validation counter in the validation counter quote they will be asking for the barcode the passport the boarding pass so always keep your boarding pass and your health declaration form um, the reason why um, you will prepare two pieces or uh, two copies of the barcode because one will be checked in the um, validation counter and the other one you have to keep that because on the day of your uh, swab test you need to give one copy to the personnel from Prime Care. Prime Care po, they are the one responsible for swap test. And once your documents are being validated now by the validation counter, usually for the validation counter, they will just check the details that uh, you gave them online. So you proceed through the thermal scanner. And then after the thermal scanner, then you will proceed to um, immigration officer for the immigration officer they will ask for your passport your boarding pass together with the um, arrival form or the arrival card just the normal immigration procedure and then afterwards if you are an OFW you need to proceed oh. counter uh, to know where's your designated quarantine facility and then at the same time once you have the information you need to claim your baggage and if you are a returning overseas filipino like me who i went to other countries for a visit um you need to proceed to prime care cashier because if you are not an ofw you need to pay for literally everything so the in the cashier po you can pay cash or credit card if you don't have cashman po there is an ATM beside the cashier and if you don't have peso there is also um currency exchange near the cashier so you need to pay 4100 for this swab test and they will give you a receipt please keep the receipt just in case you know na emergency and after that is you will proceed to the baggage claim once you have your bag then you need to proceed to the um, department of tourism desk from there you need to inform them your name and your um hotel because they will be the one coordinating with the hotel staff outside 
if they are um, if they arrive already then the staff from Department of Tourism will escort you through Bureau of Customs and then clearance and then to the hotel staff they will endorse you directly to the hotel staff um, for the overseas Filipino worker naman po, you have a designated a waiting area uh, they will also call you once the hotel staff is available now for pick up and they will take you to your designated um, hotel facility now for um, for that swap test it will be done on the fifth day and um, once you are um, negative then they will give you the go signal and you will coordinate with your LGU for the further um, further procedure for the remaining part uh, remaining how many days because it should be 14 days and now for the most frequently asked question how much should we really spend well like what I've said before um, first you will be spending for the um, uh, sorry for the PCR test which is 4100 and then for the hotel actually it varies I will just put the link in the description box below so that you will know how much the hotel will be and um, it will show there the difference between full board um, accommodation or just breakfast and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and let's stay connected Thank you for watching!